everything that you get keeps a log of. You got your own character information, pets, effects, your skills, your buffs, your inventory. A group if you're in a party and the party's pets and players, any players around as there's none out here and I'm by myself. I normally watch the statistic tab just to make sure that my XP is efficient. I think since the um, the adrenaline bot is based off the memory, it's the range of your game client itself because it's reading what your game client can see. Um, I did notice that when I changed my default range in my game files, it was able to see further out. So it, it varies depending on what your game settings are because it is reading it based off the memory. And as you can see, the map is quite big, it can show. But this is with default client settings, where it's showing the range of this. And as you can see, the mods right here. I mean, we're currently... I mean, 4,000 out. It's seeing it, so it's, it's quite far. So where we were fighting, and I was talking about getting um, more efficient settings, or more player-like. So we'll go over to our target search, go to the main tab. Um, this is pretty much default settings here. I'm going to show some things that should be changed. Um, don't attack after respawn. I normally change this about three seconds. This is a new mob spawn. A lot of things you see with bots before they even load in the, in the client, you see them cast a spell, and then all of a sudden you see a mob starting to get hit and, and falling over. I mean, it, it's a big obvious thing that you're botting when you're killing things before your client can see it. I mean, just because the server says it's there doesn't mean you should be killing it. So three seconds, pretty good time. Especially if you're waiting on mob spawn. Um, you got your target selection pause. This I kind of vary depending on what I'm doing. If I'm playing a mage, um, I'll put my time anywhere between like a 530 to a uh, 2300. Just try not to keep exact set times here just in case they have some way of looking at it. And it does a variation between these. It's not always going to do just 530, 2300. It's just, it's kind of picking. Um, beat off if hooked. This is like mobs that are aggressive on you that are kind of chasing you. Uh, we check this so if you have an aggressive mob, it's following you, we want it to stop and uh, kill it. Um, finish aggressive first. I mean, yeah, you want to kill that. Now this change for nearest. What that means, um, if you look at the bot, we'll zoom in a little bit here, it always goes for whichever's closest to it. Now, it can be good, but it can be bad at the same time, because if your character is fighting a, um, a mob and then a new one spawns, it goes for the newest one that's closest to you. So as, as you're playing like a mage, it's kind of obvious, like, why did you just, like, leave the mob who had one hit point left and then go after a new fresh spawn? So I uncheck this for my settings here. So it doesn't change its target. We will, we'll go more into about finishing targets later. But I have this turned off. Um, normally... When I'm being attacked, I don't ha like to have it automatically start attacking back. I check off you have reached level seven. all you these are now settings right here. New magic skill. You can set it up to, to learn more, if you're HP, CP, whatever, on the left side of the if screen. attacked by players, people dead. I mean, there's, as you can see, there's a lot of settings here. 
to what to protect from. Um, depending on where I'm at and what I'm doing, it's normally not good to grief someone's mobs. When you're griefing someone's mobs, they're going to... Um, they're going to start attacking you. They're going to kill you. They're going to report you as a bot. So we kind of have these off, but we have it omit if the mob is our target. And so we keep these kind of right here. I'm going to hit save. I like these settings. And let's say that there's um, a mob around that you don't want to hit. It's a social mob. It'll get you killed. We, you can go here. You can either type in its name and hit search or you can hit visible NPC it'll show you all the list of mobs that are around so you can just hit this here uncheck them all and we'll check off a giant monster eye and then here we can put attack it many conditions for the attack if it's within a radius we can have it where it's beat off meaning it's hooked onto us um, you can set up priorities based on if it's attacking you, how high of a priority do you want to kill it? Or if, let's say, you're in an area where some type of archer spawns, the archer is very deadly to you, you can uh, set its uh, target search to a very high, and it'll instantly change targets every time it sees this mob. So right now, you just hit monster, as you see in the background right here, instantly going after the monster eyes now does not want them to stay around so we'll just put that back and we'll delete this one because we, we don't have any filter set up I normally use the filtering to exclude like uh, raid boss or certain mobs that I, that don't give anything like they're kind of like NPC mobs that are just there but they don't really give a benefit to kill So we'll hit save. Now we still got our attacks here. Uh, amp touch. What? Let's put that to. It's um, my hurricane. Hurricane targets HP. So we'll get rid of vamp. We've got hurricane on the list. Uh, do we have death spike yet? Where's death? Death spike. And as I was saying earlier, I don't know if you people were here for that. If you kind of want to kite a mob and um, the mob is just on, constantly in your face, just wrecking you, you can hit main distance here and put like something of 600. And we'll change this to, what is it, 900 is the range of this. As you can see right here, skill distance, it tells you right here in the fade it. 900 is your range so this will make your character stay at about a 600 pace away from the mob so you're kind of just fighting and kiting it but I normally don't do that I kind of face tank I set to the, um, the targets HP greater than zero because um, I, I normally set a lot of conditions for my things. And this is just normally one of my default conditions. I'm just used to setting. Um, I used to play um, my summoner mainly. And the way I made it was my summons would attack. They would always attack first. So the summons always draw the aggro. I'm sorry for the noise here. I just turned on my air conditioner here. It's pretty warm in here. So I would have my summons attack. And I would make it where my targets... HP percent was less than uh, 99 and what that meant was my my summons went they hit the um, 
They hit the monster, they brought down its life, now the monster's aggroed onto them. And now I can freely attack the rest of the time without ever worrying about um, who, who's going to attack and get me killed. The bot does have good PvP functions. There is a lot of conditions. Uh, if you look at the condition bar here, it can check um, if your target has any type of uh, abnormal status, UDE, abnormal effects, if it has buffs on it. If you cast a debuff, you can set up conditional attacks for that. If they cast a certain skill, you can put it here. And put it the ID or whatever they're casting, and then set up your own conditions. You can tell to um, to use bless SOE. Just to give you an example of that, if you go to your event tab, which I have not come across yet and go to um, where is it CPHP MP status if my HP less than 10% go to the additional tab check off item and then you can pick what item you want to use so you can select your bless SOE and then add the condition in there also, you can have um, sound alerts set up where, let's say, um, attacked by a player. You can just click right here. And what I do, I like the, uh, the HP alert here. Oh, wait, that's my message. But just for instance, I click that, and then it just gives a little chime. And so you can set up um, additional things to answer, use items, command skills. You can pause activity. You can blink the bot forward to bring up its settings if you need to toggle something on and off. So as you can see, the bot's been running for quite a little while on its own here. Just running, killing. Yeah, this bot is a memory-based bot. It, um, it's very hard to detect. Uh, it could bypass just about every type of protection on the servers. Lame guard, um, frost, uh, official servers, and protect. I mean, it's kind of a joke to even mention that one, but it's a very good, subtle bot. To what type? It uses uh, wave files, the uh, the sounds. I have not tried to use uh, MP3s, but these are the traditional sounds that it came with. Uh, as you can see, um, I don't even know what this one sounds like. So we're still killing, still in this area. XP's kind of shitty. The mobs are dark blue to us. And we'll turn off the bot. And we'll go to a new zone. 